the whole thing, the universe. It has been in existence for 13.7 billion years and yet many fundamental questions still remain unanswered. It has to do with the geometry and composition, the innermost structures of matter, space and time, and the nature of fundamental forces. Astrophysics, nuclear and particle physics of the excellence cluster, origin and structure of the universe are searching for answers to several of the most significant and interesting questions of modern basic research. In the research reactor in Garching near Munich, neutrons are generated for all kinds of research projects. In the interior of the reactor, they are cooled to different temperatures. The colder they are, the slower they move. In the neutron guide hall, the neutrons are sent through high safety tubes to the laboratories. There, they will be used for different scientific projects. Through the sponsorship of the Excellence Initiative, a group of young scientists have the opportunity to set up a whole new experiment under the auspices of Professor Peter Fehlinger. This makes research attractive. Professor Fehlinger has been working at the TU München since April 2008. The 30-year-old Austrian wants to understand the puzzling surplus of matter compared to antimatter. If the universe had evolved symmetrically, we wouldn't be here. There would be only this light, which would have developed through matter-antimatter collisions. The cause of the asymmetry could be reflected by an electric charge distribution, the dipole moment within the neutrons. Up to now it never has been possible to measure this fundamental property. The neutrons must be confined in a high-technology housing which is shielded from external magnetic fields in order to obtain these extremely precise measurements. The neutrons must be cooled to ultra-cold temperatures in a specially constructed neutron source in the reactor, so that the neutrons can no longer wear through solid bodies. This process works as follows. Inside the source you can see a donut-shaped volume, and hydrogen will be frozen inside of it. The hydrogen decelerates the neutrons, which fly into the volume from the reactor to very slow energies, which means that you can take them out of the reactor in a tube and then simply confine them in a matter trap during the experiment. The Excellence Cluster Universe has seven research areas all together with different themes in accordance with the development of our universe. The middle area C and D are located approximately 100 seconds after the Big Bang on all the timeline. The collaboration of the different physics disciplines is of particular importance to Professor Paul. We try and define a common question. This question is nothing else than the chronological development of the universe and how structures evolved in the universe. Each researcher who has ever worked on these otherwise disjoint research areas will suddenly see his or her results and ideas projected on a mutual timeline. The internationally renowned workshops in Garching have also to do with this common ground in research. Today the topic is turbulences and flow of fluids and gases hydrodynamics. This phenomenon permits, for example, new stars to emerge from gas clouds and to explode as supernovas at the end of their lives. Does this sound otherworldly? No. Professor Burkhardt, second in charge at the Universe Cluster, explains why turbulences have also importance to us. The tools are very similar. This is always, you need to solve the hydrodynamic equations. You do this with computers because you can't do it by hand. So we use the same t physics, but we apply it to different regimes, physical regimes. And so the hope is, for example, in this workshop, uh, to learn from each other how to, how to solve these equations, how to visualize the outcomes uh, to become more efficient. The Munich researchers observe the universe from international observatories, for example the very large telescope run by the European Southern Observatory on Mount Paranel in Chile, as well as from the observatory on Mount Wendelstein near Munich. Professor Weller works at the University Observatory at Munich Bogenhausen and in Garching, where he does research on cosmic energy distribution. Through astronomical observations he wants to understand the dark energy in particular. And if astronomers look at these galaxies, they find um, they are receding from each other faster and faster. In order to explain that, um, in the framework of our gra gravity theories, we were forced to introduce a force in nature which acts repelling on very large distances. And we, we are thinking that might help explaining us uh, what dark energy is. 
the universe has a certain total amount of matter and energy. I find it entirely fascinating and for example that we still don't know what 96% of the universe is, is made of is a vast research area and I'm, I'm over the moon that, about that. <laughs> and so many questions surrounding the history of the origin of our universe still remain unanswered. The Munich Excellence Cluster Universe is on the best course to coming closer to a few answers.